and we are here at the Volvo Truck Event. I've got Rick Ryer with me. How are we doing today, Rick? I'm very well, Bruce. Thank you for asking. How are you? Good, good. So what's your job? You you sell Volvo trucks, right? So what, 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 what are you, where are you? You're in Belleville here? I, I am in the Belleville area. I uh, represent the Surgery Truck Group, a okay. uh, fine line of Volvo trucks. I am a, an account manager, so okay. I deal face-to-face -face with all the customers right. locally and uh, try and give them some exposure to the new Volvo trucks. Well, give us a little tour here because we are in, I have not driven a Volvo since, I don't know when they come out, like the 90s, before the 90s. I think I think probably 82, 85 is when they first came out. And that's when I first was introduced to them. So I'm sure they've changed. We're sitting in a Volvo Globetrotter ed edition truck. So give us a give us a tour. You're in the driver's seat. What's, what's cool about the Volvo now? This is our <laughs> brand new model. It's called the Volvo VNL 760 Globetrotter right. Edition. When we're specking trucks and we put Globetrotter, Basically, it loads this truck up, okay. so it is the envy of the road right now. Now, having said that, as well as all the creature comforts that uh, you know help the driver complete his daily task yeah. and, and make him feel comfortable and, and refreshed at the end of the day, this truck have a, has a host of safety features. You can see the heated windshield wow. option. That's Very electronic cool. heated, yeah, to eliminate ice buildup in the inclement yeah. weather. Positions uh, perfect steering wheel. So you have tilt, telescopic, and you can rotate the steering wheel itself and yeah. change the light. All at the press of a button, you were sure, or all press of a foot the, pedal there. It's yeah. all air activated. Yeah, 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 uh, nice. yeah. Some more features of the infotainment, yeah, yeah. The infotainment system, yeah, sort of, yeah, yeah. with GPS control. We have a brand new uh, yeah, item show called us that the item. alcohol lock system. <laughs> what this is, and this is kind of prototype with that, well, we're putting it out there and see what the response will be. But fleet owners that, you know, Monday morning they're launching a fleet of drivers and maybe somebody had a little bit too much celebration on the yeah. weekend. But this is, you plug in a straw and blow and you get a green light, you're cleared to go. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. So it's just another, you know, Volvo so safety conscious, yeah. airbag and the steering wheel. You know, that's another host of features. Yeah, this yeah. truck is equipped with a uh, battery operated standby air conditioning system that will run anywhere up to 12 to 14 hours. Wow. Part, so no more idling near your truck, nice. you know, to stay. Yeah. So the driver's comfortable. Uh, you have television, you have refrigerator, microwaves. So yeah, yeah. Opposed to features. Yeah, now, now John, was telling, John was telling us earlier that the um, drink, this has been changed a lot of the drink holders and stuff like that is there anything here i see them down here they don't look much different to me but maybe they move or something you know what it is bruce and thank you for asking that question uh they really listen to the drivers these drink holders are modular oh. so you can locate them anywhere oh nice and nice. different sizes they'll fit the big baba you yeah, know yeah, and the yeah, slurpees yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever yeah, the nice. driver wants yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and that a simple thing like that can just make or break a driver's experience you know if he hits his first bump or he's reaching for his coffee and he's spilling it, you know. So this truck is all about creature comforts, hands on the wheel, yeah. safety. Yeah. Now I see. I see here they've got some stuff that you know for charging cell phones or the chargers have been put up top here where you'd probably have your phone, which makes sense. Uh, and what are we doing? Do we have a podcast app on this screen? This is a very important question for me. <laughs> you don't know that yet. I don't, but there's a USB input on oh, this, okay. so you can connect any uh, electronic uh, <laughs> software at all, absolutely. We, then, wouldn't, we wouldn't want anyone to go down the road and not listen to the Lead Pedal Podcast. <laughs> no, that's right, that's right, as long as you're not viewing a screen. No, no it's, audio. Right. <laughs> it's audio, it's audio, it's good, it's good. It's good. Um, other features of this is steering wheel controls. Right. It's, it's all about keeping your hand on the wheel, so I can blink my lights, I can signal, I can set my cruise, my engine brake, I can answer my phone, I can be fine phones, I can beat the horn, you know, it's all right here within okay. a touch. Very cool, very cool. And so, out, now, is there anything special with the seat? Because back problems have been a major thing in the industry over the years, so is, is there anything different with the seat other than, they've come a long way, but Absolutely. This is one of the premium, uh, you can see leather trim yeah, yeah, on the yeah. seats, uh, heated comfort as well for the winter time. Uh, memory, okay. uh, for seat height, it has quick, it exhaust of your air when it's time to park right. and then when you fire back up it goes to your back to your same level again so infinitely adjustable as far as tilt yeah. uh, recline armrests of course are incorporated very very comfortable you've got some amazing stuff in the back so i'm going to let you take a little tour and show us there um uh, what's going on this bed is actually doing stuff i've never seen a bed do in a truck before <laughs> this is our <laughs> brand new reclining feature on the bed and again, it's a simple thing that it was, this was driver driven. 
you know, at the end of the day, he's got to sit on his bunk, and then what does he do? He's trying to do paperwork, maybe watch TV, or maybe eat a meal, and he's got to sit and lay on a bunk. This is reclining. You can sit there and stretch out like you're on your Chesterfield at home. Right. Uh, Fold-out table for ease. You've got all your heater and climate controls, radio controls, uh, quick access to your television. Um, and then if you've got drivers that maybe suffer from sleep apnea, there's a lot of people out there that, and they have to sleep in an upright right, right, right. or a sitting position, there again, it, it's right there. The answer's there. Very thick, quilted foam mattress as well. Very comfortable. Yeah. It looks it looks amazing, and that's a step closer. There, as a driver, I, I like the table idea. That's awesome. I've always wanted a chair to sit in to do paperwork or whatever, right? So you guys have come a long way. Uh, does this bed change into a seat at all, or it just go in the upright? This one is the reclining bunk feature, okay. but we also offer a workstation, which okay. is a table and folding benches nice. as well. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. And it's got. Um, does this come? I notice it's coming with different power outlets now instead of just uh, for your cigarette lighter, right? <laughs> this truck is actually pre-wired from factory, so it's got a built-in power inverter. Okay. Um, so that's your 110 receptacle yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah. there. I mentioned the battery-operated AC system yeah, yeah. for anti-idle. So, and then it's got a shore power receptacle on the outside as well. So some of the truck stops are now offering plug-ins like you would an RV. Yeah. You plug in and boom, you've powered your truck and you're not idling at all. Long ways. Yeah, and now I, I noticed this one has a microwave and a fridge there and a, a you know closet over here. Is that standard in the Globetrotter series to get a microwave or is that something extra that you put in? It is standard equipment. Uh, however, we can either build or take away on that. We can eliminate the upper bunk if they like and okay. put more shelving on the back wall some more access this has folding cupboards with doors on the front as well so when these guys go out you know they're out for a week 10 days at a time they need some storage so this one really uh came to the table and answered that and it's nice to be able to actually stand up and put your clothes on as a driver who drove for 25 years uh, as much as i've liked some of the other bunk styles standing up or trying to put them on hunched over so this is a, a great thing to have a great day absolutely and you'll notice when you're getting out of the chair and you want to enter the bunk stand up right away and you yeah. can walk into the no hitting you. There's no flat top <laughs> roof here that you have to crouch and, yeah. and step through an opening. So yeah. very well appointed, very well laid out. You know, it's very spacious looking. Yeah. And I should mention that this new model, the VNL 760, is actually 10 inches longer on the bunk than the 670 model that it's replacing. Well, that's great because I actually used to have a stair stepper in my truck. I've always exercised in my truck. And I, you can actually do a workout here and health, and health for drivers is a big thing in the industry right now. So there's no reason you cannot exercise uh, or do whatever you want. You can build models, whatever you want to do in here. This is a huge, huge thing. And it's it's very comfortable. What's our fuel mileage like for something like this? Like as far as the uh, performance side? It, it's definitely increased. In fact, increased dramatically. I always shy, shy away from quoting fuel economy yeah, yeah, yeah. numbers because every load is different, every right. driver is different. Yeah. But far, this truck far and exceeds anything we've ever built in the past. Yeah. It's got full aerodynamics on the outside, it's got chassis fairings, you know, full, so yeah. slipstream is important. Um, and then the engine itself, some drastic improvements with the new patented wave piston. Um, so fuel economy has really increased. We're, yeah. we're hearing very positive response from customers. Okay, so I'm old school, and the one thing I haven't figured out is how do you actually move this thing? There's no gear shift, there's no, I know it's automatic. Is that what this little thing is here? No, that's, that's, <laughs> that's actually your trailer. Uh, oh, okay, uh, okay, right okay, here. yeah, yeah. Yeah, this, this truck is equipped with Volvo's very own uh, iShift transmission. Right. Now, the iShift transmission has been around for some time now. Yeah. It is the premium automated transmission in my mind. Um, it's touch pad control okay. here, so yep. foot on the brake and then push drive and away you go, let the truck do your thing. Torque based shifting, so if the truck senses that you're not hauling enough weight to go through every gear, it'll skip gears. And uh, again, that adds to the fuel efficiency of the truck. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a test question now. The one thing that a lot of drivers like the standard shift because of, when you're hooking up to a trailer, you're able to control the speed that you go under that trailer. And I know people think because of trucks, it's about ramming the trailer, it's not about that. I, yeah. My trucks were like babies, like, <laughs> so how do you do that? That's the one problem when I've driven, I've only driven a few auto automatic transmissions, but that's the one thing I found I couldn't control hooking up. Is there a way to do it with this type of transmission? Bruce, that is an <laughs> excellent question. I'm so glad you, are off, you asked that question. And my offer to you is we'll go for a test drive very shortly okay. and let you experience it firsthand. And okay. the reason I say that is 
This transmission is like none other automated transmission on the market. When you put this in drive or you put it in reverse, you can release the pedal and you can just idle into your dock, idle into your... It, it's not like some of the other brands where there's it acts very much like a standard transmission yeah, yeah. where it revs up and then dumps the clutch right. and boom, yeah, you yeah. get a sudden jerk. This is... I would equate this to your pickup truck where you put it in drive and you can just creep away. It is so smooth. Well, you passed the test because that was a question I was not expecting you to be able to answer. So very oh, no. good, very good on your part that you're <laughs> able to do that. And so, where are you guys located here in Belleville? Uh, you're the south. We're on the north side of the highway at the Chrome Shop. Where are you guys? We're on the Bell Boulevard West, 875 Bell Boulevard West, immediately south of the 401. Yep. Uh, is our associate dealer, and then we have a full dealership in Kingston as well as Ottawa. So, if anybody wants to talk to you guys about specking a truck or just come in and see it, I'm going to urge people to come in and see this because it's a lot different than the one. Ones I used to drive. Uh, they can come and do that and just uh, check it out with you guys? Absolutely. Look me up and I'll answer all the questions I can. And we routinely have models on site for test drives and walkabouts and that sort of thing. So thank is, you, Bruce. Is there, is there um, a, a website or anything where people can go and kind of check features out? Or is that just the basic Volvo site? Or? No, there's the www.volvo trucks right. and also www.surgeonertruck.com. Okay. That's our own dealership network. So right. both of them showcase all these models. Perfect. Thank you very much. That was awesome today. And uh, thanks for the tour. Bruce, thank you very much. We'll <laughs> get you, you behind the wheel. I, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs>